The number of golfers in Singapore has increased by about 13% over the last four years. And according to the Singapore Golf Association, there were some 36,000 golfers with a golfing handicap last year, compared to 28,000 in 2009. Despite the pending reduction in the number of golf courses in Singapore, experts say the popularity of the sport is unlikely to be affected. A following recent announcement, the government is set to reacquire land from two golf courses and three others are giving up part of their real estate. The two courses from the current 17 in Singapore will go in the coming decade and possibly more will follow from 2030. The SGA, however, is confident that interest will continue to grow among amateurs and that there will be capacity to meet demand. During the weekends, we are full. You know, all, all golf courses are 100% utilised. It's the weekdays. Uh, you will find that uh, most golf courses have uh, running at capacity of less than 50%. So, in effect, uh, there, there is capacity. Uh. The president of the SGA added that losing the two courses will only affect a small number of golfers, up to 560 every weekend. And for them, the option may be to continue heading north to Malaysia or south to Batam and Bintan. One possible upside to developments in the golfing scene, greater equity in access to golf courses. The golf clubs in Singapore, the members' golf clubs, should look into allowing for weekday golfing to be made available to the public. Uh, we at Sentosa Golf Club is a case in point where our golf courses are available for use by members of the public. And we do, in fact, do spread it out. And I think that's really the way to go. Industry experts also feel that a new golfing landscape will not impact Singapore's ability to host major golf tournaments. It will continue to attract such events and currently plays host to the HSBC Women's Champions and until 2012 also staged one of Asia's biggest men's tournament, the Barclays Singapore Open.